And I want to go across now and uh, introduce you to Manish Purohit. He's a former ISRO scientist uh, and very well-known space educator. Manish, welcome. Good to have you. Thanks for your time here on India Today. Very exciting time for all of us. And I can imagine what an exciting time it is for someone like you who's been associated with missions in the past. You are an expert on all things solar as well. What are you most looking forward to, uh, Manish, about the Aditya L1 mission? Thank you, Shiv, for the welcome. Uh, see, actually, uh, it's a big thing because India is taking big step forward in exploration. We have used Chandrayaan-3 for showing the intent that we are ready to explore the universe in a better way. We mm. have been doing so. We have been to Mars. We have a Mars orbiter. We are planning again to go to Mars. But now we are going to Venus also. We are going towards Sun. So this tells us that we have that intent that, yes, we are coming to that particular part where Space exploration is our next big aim, and that mm. puts us in a very big picture if we compare with the global perspective. Now, talking about our Aditya L1, Aditya L1 is going to L1 point, that is the Lagrange 1 point. It is around 15 lakh kilometers from the Earth towards the Sun. Now, the best mm. part about this point is there is nothing there. The spacecraft is going to go around in a halo orbit about there is nothing. Nothing is there. Only vacuum is there. So, we are going to go around a vacuum point in a halo orbit and these halo orbits are big they can be like you know farthest two farthest points can be like six lakh kilometers to 13 lakh kilometers apart so wow. these are the orbits and they don't have a perfect shape they are like lissagious figures they are distorted so hmm. we have few neighbors also there we have a company there also uh, there are few spacecrafts that are already stationed at l1 the best part for l1 is we get 24 7 365 and 5.3 that is the time period for our aditya complete duration we will be looking at the sun in visible ultraviolet and x-ray these are the three possible uh, ranges of spectrum where we want to observe sun as yeah. a star now why we have to observe sun as a star now let me put in a perspective take a 10 megaton hydrogen bomb and blast millions of them every hmm. second and then keep doing this for billion years now that's what is happening at the sun right mm -hmm. at this point. amazing so we have to understand why that happens. And these are called micro flares and yeah. they have the power that is just blinneth of a simple super flare or a sun flare. Now, sun flares are huge. Like, yeah. let's say yeah. if, if a sun flare I'm capturing, let's say I'm capturing sun and I'm getting a sun flare of this size. Let's say I got a picture of sun and I, get a, I see a sun flare of this size, hmm. then put a dot anywhere, that will be Earth. So we have to understand that. 1859, we had a Carrington event. The name of the event is Carrington event. Yes. Sun was really angry, really, really angry. It threw <laughs> up high energy magnetic fields, particles, plasma, what all you name. Sun threw everything towards Earth. And if that happens now, yeah. world over, power grids will fail, networks will fail, and we'll go back to the Stone Age. So uh, you know, we have... So we have, yeah, no, we have, absolutely. Yeah, finish your point. Finish your point. So, we are, so, so that's what we have to understand. Now, how we are going to do that with Aditya? Aditya is trying to understand that the core of the sun is at hmm. 27 million, surface of the sun is at 6,000, and the outer atmosphere is at 10 million. How? Why? Why? What's happening you know, there? We feel, the, we feel the heat of the sun, we feel the power of the sun, and I feel the power of your passion about this mission. I can really f feel it in your voice as well, and I, and I share it with you. And, uh, and Manish, I'd like to... Uh, uh, invite you to be part of our coverage on Saturday morning as well when we welcome Aditya into low earth orbit and then it blasts off towards the Lagrange point. Uh, it's going to be very exciting and I really hope you'll make the time to be with us on our coverage. But for the moment, Manish, thank you so much for throwing some light, as it were, on the Aditya L1 mission.